My name is Clyde Cady. I'll be the instructor at for the pre-college summer course here at UConn, uh, all of the chemistry portions uh, with either the full chemistry program or the chemistry and electrical engineering programs. I also teach uh, general chemistry here at UConn. And so if you end up here at UConn, you will end up probably seeing me. Uh, so the one thing about chemistry is we like to try and be a little bit more hands-on. So in the chemistry program during pre-college summer, you will be in the lab every day. Uh, so to demonstrate that, we're going to try and do a demonstration right now. One of the things that we do during the full chemistry program. So what we're going to do is a classic chemistry demonstration where we're going to take a copper coin and we're going to turn it silver and then gold. It's simple chemistry, but it looks really cool. All right, so first thing we need to do for that is we need some hot boiling water. Uh, so we got that up on the hot plate up here. And so it's starting to get hot. It's just about ready to boil. And so we need to take a silver metal, in this case, our zinc, and we're going to turn it, uh, we're going to dissolve it and plate it onto our copper to turn it silver. Zinc's not very soluble in water, so we need to get adjust the pH. So we've got sodium hydroxide pellets, and so we're going to pour them all into the water. And it's going to start bumping a little bit. And once we get all of the sodium hydroxide dissolved in here, we'll have a nice basic solution. Dissolving sodium hydroxide is exothermic, so it gives off a lot of heat and it makes the water boil even more. But once it's all in there, we've got a nice basic solution. It's very similar to Drano at this point. All right, so now that we've got the basic solution, all of it dissolved into our water, we can add our zinc. And so the hot basic water is going to help us dissolve our zinc a little bit. And as it reacts, it's going to form hydrogen, which is these bubbles that are coming off of it. The zinc dissolves. And now if we take one of our pennies, we'll take two of them at the same time for comparison. We're going to drop them both into the solution so that they can come in contact with the zinc and start getting a reaction to form to coat the five euro cent coins. All right, so right now that's going and we're going to put on our safety goggles and our gloves to actually handle taking these out of there. So right now, inside of that kind of cloudy solution that we've got going on, anywhere that our zinc is in contact with the copper, the dissolved zinc is actually replating back out and it's redissolving more of the zinc as it goes. So all that's really going to happen is, is that there's going to be a small layer of zinc that goes across the outside. Unfortunately, it's not going to be as visually interesting because of the, all of the hydrogen bubbles. But so we're going to let it sit for a little bit, kind of turn them around, move them over. So normally something like this would be a demonstration that I would do in class in my second semester general chemistry course. But in this case, uh, since you guys are going to be in the lab with us and we want to do something a little fun, uh, everybody that takes the course in the full week of chemistry does this experiment. And so we try it out. It's usually kind of popular since we take something normal and we turn it into something that's a little bit different. All right, so as we pull the, the, the coin out of here, you can see that it's starting to get coated just a little bit with zinc. And so we need just a little bit more time as far as we go. So when you guys come into to lab, as far as the chemistry program is concerned, we have certain safety requirements. That's always the, the first key. And so that's why we require that everybody wears long pants, fully enclosed shoes, and we give you all safety uh, lab coats, safety goggles, gloves, everything that you need to be safe, do your lab experiments and that kind of thing. And do some fun, fun equipment with actual chemicals to try and try things out. Not to say that we don't spend a lot of time actually working on in the in lecture halls and giving you lots of equations that you have to solve, but pre-college is more about fun and trying things out. So we let you do the, the lab parts and the chemistry. 
So now that our coins have been in there for a little while, they're all nice and coated in zinc. And so we can take them out and rinse them off to make sure that we get rid of any sodium hydroxide since Drano is not good for you. So we just fish out the last one and get it to go. Once they've been rinsed in normal water, they're safe to touch again. So now we've got one copper coin and two silver coins. All right, our two silver coins, the reason why we did two of them is because, so we wanted copper, silver, and gold. And so in the end, we've got one more step left to go. We've got to take that copper and we've, the silvery cop color of the zinc, and we've got to turn it into brass. So brass is an alloy, a mixture of copper and zinc. And so we've got to mix the two elements together. In order to do that, we're going to heat it up. So we're going to take one of our silver coins and get it nicely in our tongs. And then we're going to heat it up. So obviously, our boiling water wasn't hot enough. So we need to get it even hotter than that. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to use our propane torch. Or when you're in the lab, we'll give you a Bunsen burner. So once we get it started, we just pass this gently over our coin. And so the melting point of zinc is actually pretty low. So we don't have to go to any really extreme lengths to get it to dissolve in. We just need to get it kind of warm, nice and hot. And so our propane torch is more than enough to pull that off. So now that we've got it nice and warm and it's all melted in, we'll cool it off in the water so that it's safe and put it together with the others. And so now we've got a copper, a silver, and a gold coin, all with just a couple of easy, simple types of chemicals, sodium hydroxide, a little bit of zinc. Uh, and it's something that all of you guys, if you're in the full week of chemistry program, are going to do. Uh, so that's kind of a summary of what we're going to do in chemistry. We're going to take you in, we're going to show you a couple of the basics, and then we're going to let you try it out inside of the lab. So. Uh, hope I see you all during the pre-college summer program in July.